afternoon all of you and in response to yesterday's question here is a detailed solution and you are asked to relate i minus 10 square minus 10 1 by 11 relation between those limit of integration it's not very difficult you know to play with this as 1 by 11 if i'll take inverse is going to be 11 1 not 1 and now 11 1 not 1 is quite intimately connected with minus 10 and minus 100 which means if i take 1 minus 11 and 1 minus 1 not 1 i'll be getting that answer right minus 10 and minus 100 similarly if you see 11 by 10 is connected with uh, 1 by 11 and 1 not 1 by 100 is connected with 1 by 1 not 1. how it's connected we can see like this this can be written as 1 plus 1 by 10 and the second thing can be written as 1 plus 1 by 100 and similarly if i take away 1 from both of them you know and then take the inverse so it's going to be related with 10 and 100 right so with this motivation uh we can tell like either some kind of linear transformation which is 1 by x minus 1 type or 1 by 1 minus x type or 1 by x minus 1 type is definitely going to relate these three limit of integration okay so that is the motivation now you can check one by one uh if i take let's say one by x minus one as a substitution for y and to convert this integration or integrand into a new integral i should be able to connect these two similarly if i apply let's say input as 1 by 11 then i must be able to connect these two okay so by giving a small try for these three choices you can clearly see both of them is equivalent it doesn't matter which you do so if i take instead 1 by 1 minus x as a uh, transforming factors for y or a substituting factor then it's going to give a perfect relation in first second and third integral unlike 1 by x minus 1 is a substituting factor and here i go just to save your time i've already done the calculation so let's say y equals 1 by 1 minus x with this substitution clearly as you can see in the calculation 1 minus x is going to be 1 by y so x is 1 minus 1 by y and so on so now that converts x square minus x by x cube minus 3x plus 1 back to the new integrand okay so if you'll put and do all the calculation i have shown you you will get back to the same thing and that's surprisingly beautiful so what i'm telling if you'll plug x equals 1 by 1 minus y which is merely this substitution okay so it's just going to change the entire structure into the same integrand and that's a good news because now 1 by 1 not 1 1 by 11 is getting transformed to the second iab part okay so just by putting x equals here you can see x is y minus 1 by y we got this expression now here i have defined f of x to be this entire thing okay this whole a square together i am defining it to be f of x so with that definition in mind if we'll convert this the final expression gets to be f of y dy by y square so that relates 1 by 1 not 1 1 by 11 to 1 not 1 by 100 and 11 by 10 now again if i make the same substitution let's say t equals 1 by 1 minus i so 1 not 1 by 100 is converted to minus 100 and that's converted to minus 10 and since this quantity will still be the same so having same structure and y square will become t minus 1 by t whole square so that appears like this and dy is since it's 1 minus 1 by t so dy will become dt by t square so finally uh, we can clearly see the first part of the option is none of the ib which was asking here so i of you know a b for different value of a and b which was there in the option they are not equal to their corresponding different counterpart okay so first three options is wrong which was already posed in the yesterday's question now let's come to the next option where we need to add all the three now clearly evaluating separate integration as enough motivation is there till now is not a way so what i have done is now i have kept every integration in terms of minus 100 to 10 minus 10 and that feels cool right so similarly 1 by 1 not 1 1 by 11 as you can see from here we started with this integration it can be written down in terms of minus 100 to minus 10 and we have this expression with ft as the entire integrand in the original product so that becomes ft by t minus 1 whole square the third quantity is still same here if i convert 1 not 1 by 100 and 11 by 10 so just y square will not be there okay because y square is coming from the previous step because of substitution 
so that's why everything except i square now when you'll add all this and you can clearly see we'll get same thing f of t this f of t part and this by taking lcm becomes quite nice because these two guys get kicked off and this quantity can be written as a square plus 2t a square minus 2t plus 1 by expanding this and here you can see i can take two common so t a square minus 1 and plus 1 square which gives you a square minus 2ab plus b square kind of a structure so finally we are left with this expression right let's call this psi t now this is not same as you know f of t because f of t was everything except minus now clearly uh, if the question is asking for the sum and it's j problems maybe in comprehension of course it will be a tough problem with j advance but we must have a way you know like to get the answer so one of the guess it's not a guess or rather i can take the thought process is since you can see in the denominator we have t cube minus 3t plus 1 whole square so now something by this whole square will come out of differentiating t t t cube minus 3t plus 1 only so we we must have something by t t t cube minus 3t plus 1 such that when i differentiate with respect to t by u by v rule it gives birth to this whole square because this expression can be written as this whole square divided by denominator of the square so in denominator we must have this term with one copy okay now if it is constant by this clearly that will not work because you can see this derivative will give just a square term but we have y square if it is linear is derivative so what we'll do we'll differentiate linear term we'll leave the cubic term minus will differentiate cubic term 3t square will leave linear term so anyway in numerator it's going to produce 3 degree only because t square into linear is the only source of probability cube so still it cannot be linear right so in general if i'll think of again a substitution let's say quadratic a t square plus b t plus c types like i'm not sure whether this will work but at least that will be a very strong way of attacking the problem okay so now i can tell the denominator will have something cubic kind whole square differentiating numerator will give linear and we have t cube minus maybe t u will give something a square and times t so now it brings degree 4 and which makes sense okay indeed if i'll make this substitution and by differentiating this expression in comparing with with the given integral i get the value of a b c as minus 1 b 1 and c is 0 and that's a good news it means if i take this expression and differentiate this i'm getting the answer in fact you can uh, i think plus minus you can check whether it will be t a square minus t that's an exercise for you by t q minus 30 plus 1 uh, whether by differentiating this quantity you are getting this whole square or this okay so finally we know this is nothing but perfect differential like right? so this entire quantity is d of t cube minus 3t plus 1 and t a square minus t integration of this now this is nothing but if i define this to be let's say psi t okay if i define this inside well is psi t or psi x then the answer is psi of minus 10 minus psi and that's clearly rational because in this if i'll calculate the psi of minus 10 we have 10 a square 100 plus 10 divided by you know minus 10 cube plus 30 plus 1 so this is a rational number similarly if we'll calculate psi of 100 minus 100 in fact so it's again going to be some rational so rational minus rational is rational and clearly this value is not 90 as you can see we are getting a fractional value okay so maybe this problem directly doesn't comes in the examination but the ideas and it's also possible like in this length the question will not come because the calculations was two or three manifolds so usually in objective pattern they the je team cybers from asking such a lengthy problem but at least the idea of this problem was very fascinating and instead of this square and cubic they can give you linear and quadratic whole square or whole to the power 2023 which even je means does which there was a question like x cube minus something plus something whole to the power 2024 or 3 dx in fact it was 25 dx and then you apply king's rule it becomes i equals minus and answer was zero it was the problem from one of your giant session okay so there can be a problem where a particular linear uh, substitution uh, still makes the integral unchanged okay or maybe they can ask you they can define two integration 1 by 101 1 by 11 fx dx and other was 101 100 11 by 10 fy fx by x square dx and then they ask you to relate of course they'll be same okay so these kind of manipulations are very important in this chapter i hope you are enjoying the session i'll come with more videos
where it will teach you one particular concept with full depth and moreover the thought process involves this rather than just blindly solving and giving you the solution thank you have a good day please do like and subscribe to the channel